Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Dewan Lightfoot, and I have partnered with CompTIA to talk to you about the new CompTIA 2019 A Plus Core Series. And let me tell you, for those of you that are looking to get into IT but lack the entry level knowledge, this certification has been totally revamped to align with today's market needs. When CompTIA develops their exams, they bring in subject matter experts from the field to ensure that what's on the exam actually align with people doing the field today. Now, I earned my a certification back in 2008, and since then, technology has totally evolved. And CompTIA realized this, so they evolved the new a certification to provide you the skills you need to succeed in the field today. If you have not already checked out Zach at IT Career Questions, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check out his channel. Zach is a really good friend of mine, and he creates excellent content. In one of Zach's latest videos, he talks about his top five reasons why you should care about the new a certification. In this video, I'm gonna cover some of those same topics while providing you my real world insight on why those reasons are also important to me. So the first reason on the list is virtualization and cloud computing. Adding this to the 220-1001 exam is great. With many organizations hosting applications like Microsoft 365 in the cloud and having private, public, and hybrid infrastructure, with the way organizations are shifting to these hybrid infrastructures and implementing software-defined networking, Having this basic understanding will help you to walk into your new organization with the basic understanding that you can continue to build on. Number two, hardware. The a focus on hardware has shifted. Let's face it, we are no longer soldering chips onto motherboards. And the hardware that we support today is a lot more stable. One hardware component that's not going away though is printers. So for those of you that love troubleshooting that PC load air, <laughs> it's still there. In all seriousness, hardware is one of those areas that we have to have a basic understanding when we're troubleshooting devices. For instance, me as a senior network engineer, I often have to troubleshoot routers. And if a router seems to not be moving packets or is having an issue where it's being really slow and just acting really weird, one of the things I have to do is Look at the processes of that router to see what's the CPU utilization, what's the memory utilization, and actually debug the device. And having a basic understanding of hardware helps me understand if something's actually going on with the RAM or going on with the CPU, and then implement the steps I need to resolve the issue. Now, the a won't give you what you need to become a senior network engineer, but it will give you that basic foundation when it comes to troubleshooting hardware peripherals like RAM and CPU. Number three, scripting. On the 902 exam, scripting wasn't really covered. CompTIA has changed this on the 220-1002 exam. In 2019, programming through automation is taking over. This exam covers the basic of Python, JavaScript, PowerShell, and VBS, and many other scripting languages. The fact that CompTIA is actually adding this to the A+, I think is awesome, and I think it's a skill that once you get through the A+, you should continue to build on. Number four, security. This exam improves on its focus of security in many areas. As a new technician, you have to be able to safeguard against vulnerabilities like malware and social engineering. I think it's cool that this exam even goes more in depth on enterprise wireless security. With the way infrastructures are designed and the way business is evolving in the industry, we are no longer just connecting through a wire connection. We're connecting wirelessly, we're connecting over VPN, we're connecting through satellite, we're connecting all types of ways, we're connecting through the cloud. I could go on and on the way we're connecting to our infrastructures. I love the fact that CompTIA is not only focused on virtualization, but also improving our security skills that we need to be successful in the field. Number five, networking. There's many improvements in the area of networking. I mentioned this before, but the industry is totally evolving. We have not only desktops and laptops connecting to our infrastructures, but now we have mobile devices, which can be assigned through your organization or you can bring your own device. And then we also have the internet of things. There's so many different applications that are designed to communicate with different devices that you need to have an understanding 
of how the network actually functions. The OSI model is a standard that runs across the board. So having that type of basic understanding will help you be able to troubleshoot these devices in the field. Look, I could go on and on about the new A plus certification. And to really be personal, one of the jobs I had, the only way I could have kept my job was by achieving the A plus certification. So when you hear me talk about the A plus certification, it's because it actually impacted my life and helped me get to where I am. And I've seen it do the same for many others. So if you're looking to get that entry level knowledge that you need to actually land a job in the field, the A plus is a certification that I always recommend. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are looking to learn more about the new CompTIA A plus certification, check the links in the description. And if you have or are interested in getting the A plus, leave a comment below. I would love to form a dialogue around this certification. So please feel free to share your thoughts and opinions on this certification below. I thank you all for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.